stock map lights. So no lights. Here's our uh, map light in action. And here's our dome light in action. And these things are pretty weak as you can tell. Very, very weak actually. Let's take a step back. I mean, this is a, uh, I've got a little street light here, but incredibly weak lighting on these lights. Uh, you turn these back on. Yeah, it's not, not much to them. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're gonna be doing an install here in the Hyundai Ionic. So you see these, these four bulbs here. Um, we're gonna be doing two installs actually. So uh, also thanks Last Fit, they, they gave me these. <laughs> you know, it's actually funny how the story got started. Um, I was looking for LED upgrades for the interior lights and the reverse lights for this car. It's pretty dim, the reverse lights. And we have LED reverse lights in our two Golfs and they help the backup camera see a lot better. So um, I was actually on their website. I was gonna buy their package for, I think it was 360 for all their lights. And that's all around LEDs. And um, put it on my you know buy list basically. And then literally like 48 hours later, they emailed me and they said, hey, uh, we see you have a Hyundai Ionic. Do you want some LEDs? And I said, yes. <laughs> so it's actually a perfect story. So we're going to start up here. These are uh, all the bulbs in here are cheap bulbs. So these here are just going to be, I already have a video of these, but they, they're super dim. Okay. So we got our lights right here. Ignore that for now. We're going to take a, uh, a very tiny clip, put it right here. Pull that out of there. That pops one side, and that pops this side, just like that. Now, um, if you were this bulb up here, if you were not going to, um, if this bulb you wanted to keep, you don't want to touch it with your fingers because your oil residue will get on it, and that will cause it to uh, break later. We're not really worried about that because these LEDs are going to last forever. So uh, we're just going to. This is your mechanism here, by the way, for lighting it up. It's got a nice heat shield here too, which is kind of interesting. So it keeps the heat from going back into the plastic. Kind of funny, actually. I haven't seen that in a car before. And there's no twist and pull. You do, I mean, there's no twist to it. You just pull it straight out. I'm going to guess that this is our map light bulb right there. We have our new LED. We're going to stick it right in that hole right there. Uh, orientation doesn't really matter here. There doesn't really seem to be a lot of space. I'm gonna use two hands for this, sorry guys. So basically I just had to really kind of put two fingers, two index fingers on each side of this and just make sure it's even pressed straight in. And now you can see, as you get the cover back on here, I'll show you guys how these two compare. So to put the cover back on, you've got your couple of clips here. So you're just going to uh, start like this and push that back up. Push that back up there. All right, so now at the moment of truth, well, it's not daytime, but not nighttime, but uh, there's one side and there's the other side. Uh, obviously, aside from just being a super clean light, uh, this is about four times brighter is what I would recommend or, 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 or guess. Obviously, at night, it's gonna be a huge difference. Let's do the other side now. This is a one-handed job now, right? Pop that there. That there. That does get pretty hot pretty fast. It does make it a little easier though to use two fingers to make sure you're pushing <clears throat> like perfectly straight. All right, now we got those installed. Sweet. This is for the map lights, and um, they're super bright. Well, they're going to be super bright. So here's the product information. Uh, I think they're going to last way longer, the LEDs. They have like a 50,000-hour life most of the time, and uh, they're pretty affordable. You know, these could probably be gotten cheaper somewhere else, but um, these ship from the U.S., which is really nice. So you have a U.S. base if you have problems wherever you buy from another online site you may not have anyone that ever picks up the phone or answers your emails they were very fast to answer my email questions which was nice so we're gonna be doing these lights here these are your uh, map lights this is the uh current status 
not too good. Uh, so uh, I'll, obviously it's always nice to have like a trim tool for these kind of projects. You can use your fingers if they're super strong. All right, so we have this loose now and uh, you can see the bulb right in there. I'm gonna go ahead and do this uh, clip. Well, maybe I won't. The bulbs are pretty simple to remove. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to, well, I only have one hand here, but pulling back here. So you can see here how this is organized. So you've got a tab here and you've got a tab up here and it just pops right out like that. That slides in like that. And then you just push this down into place. Pops in just like that. And then we're going to reconnect this. Look how bright these things are now. I cannot wait to show them to you guys at night. Just crazy bright. They're so bright. <laughs> Look at that. That's so, it's blinding. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Holy crap. Look how much light that is. Okay, so we're, we're in the car now after Look at this, look how much illumination we have. We're in the car now after basically doing the whole uh, LED uh, dome light, which is here. This is the new LED light. Look at the compared to the OEM. It's incredibly dim, look at that. You can see the illumination differences. I mean, this is like lighting up the entire cabin. Oh, it's going off. Perfect timing actually, because I wanted to uh, adjust my uh, beard. <laughs> oh, I can't see uh, my co-pilot though. Let's just turn this on. Whoa! Guys, this is so much damn light. Let's open all the doors here. Let's just turn this on here. Oops, there we go. Oh my God. Let's go wide angle here. There we go. That's better. Wide angle is a lot better. Look how much freaking... So back in the back seat there, see how dim that is? Let's if I turn this off. Let's turn this off. I'll turn these off. It's kind of spoiling a little bit. So if you cover those, look how dim it was back there. Turn on the dome light, bam. And then you turn on the uh, the reading lights. I mean, this is, look how much freaking light is in here. All right, sorry, I'm getting a little crazy here, but this is this is more light than you really need. Like if you're stalking people, don't get the last fit LED lights. Uh, but if you just need to be able to freaking see, this is incredible. Wow. And just turn this off. This is just your normal, your normal light when you get in. The rear, very, very, very dim. And you get up here and it's hella bright. Wow. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm blown away by this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks, Last Fit, for sending me these really simple, like, super cheap LEDs. But seriously, they, like, <laughs> it's really amazing.